It's coffee time and the air conditioner is on which is actually right outside of my window so it's very loud I don't know if you guys can hear it but I can hear it and it's kind of upsetting me in my heart places but that's okay mmm so yesterday's video was actually done earlier today so again it's my birthday huzzah I had no plans today I had plans to have no plans today so I decided that uh, tonight I'm going to make another attempt at ramen. I'm not going to try to go to a place that's super packed and cray cray, but I am going to attempt to get ramen again. And uh, Ro and I this morning we were just like, you know what, let's just go to Ikea. Let's do it. We'll just window shop and try to figure out like what, what I should do with my room. And uh, in my heart, deep in my heart places, I knew that it wasn't going to just wind up being just window shopping. I mean, I knew, I knew that, but at the same time, I wasn't willing to just do something flippantly. I, need, I, I needed to know that it could possibly work, right? So we got there, and we went to uh, like the desks and things and looked at stuff, and I think we came up with something that's going to work really, really well, and I got so excited, and I was like, all right, I'm, I'm getting it. I'm just going to buy it. She was like, okay. <laughs> so I did. It was really fun, though. Um, got those Swedish meatballs. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I love... I love those. Every time I go to Ikea, it happens. Mmm. Ah, oh, and that coffee tastes so good. I slept in forever this morning, though. I was like, I am not utilizing my birthday day very well. Some people would disagree, but I had... I... I, I had intended... <laughs> I had intended on getting up earlier than I did and then I just kept saying you know it's my birthday I'm just gonna keep laying here and then I would fall back to sleep and then wake up and do the same thing and eventually it was noon <laughs> and I went oh I need to get out of bed so I did finally and then immediately went to Ikea but I'm uh, I'm just having so much fun moving things around in my room I'm so happy so I'm excited I'm excited to uh well, the ball's already rolling. I shouldn't say I'm excited to get the ball rolling, but I... Oh! The other thing that happened was this morning, um, Ro was like, oh man, can we give you your birthday presents? And I was like, what? So they got me... It's not in here anymore, but this is the box. They got me a kitty leash because I wanted one for so long so that I could try to take Sherlock on walks, and I got jacked. I was like, ah, kitty leash! And they got me new, um claw clippers because I needed those forever too and I've just never done it and then uh I guess when Ro was at World Market she found jammy dodgers which I I didn't know you could even get them here I've heard of them before um specifically in like BBC media stuff but I didn't know what they were I had no idea what they were I had just heard the term a million times and I was like hmm okay uh and so Ro got me a box of jammy dodgers and I ate all of them. They're so good. It's literally just like shortbread cookies with jam in the middle. They're so good. I was like, this is the perfect coffee cookie. Why? What? <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. I had no idea what they were. So I ate all of those and it was really, really, really exciting. <laughs> I just love them. Um, I shouldn't say I ate all of them. I gave one to Mike and one to Ro as well. So, it wasn't just... I didn't eat all of them by myself, but I ate the rest by myself with my morning coffee and no regrets. And, uh... Oh, and when we went to Tot last night, um, Aaron Lee and Robbie and David, like their whole their whole little family, they bought me um, some Kuroko no Basuke manga and then uh, one of the Soul Eater manga that has Death the Kid because he's my favorite. And then, what else did they get me? One of them they got and Robbie was like, I don't know what this is, but you should look at the picture on the back. And on the back, it's just, it's rabbits and frogs like having a gun showdown and like there's a dead frog it's so fun it looks like out of a kid's book like they look like toy guns like they're just like play fighting it was so funny i was like what he was like i know i don't know what's going on in this but hopefully it's not like porn i was like oh, okay we'll find out i guess so i haven't opened that up yet um 
yeah, it was, it was great. Oh, my friends are all just so awesome. Just had such a good day. Day's not even over yet, but I had a good day so far. I'm just really, I'm really excited to get ramen later. I can do the ramen and uh, build the last thing that I got at Ikea and then maybe, maybe move some stuff around. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's gonna be the best. Um, yeah, that was, that's what I've done today. Sherlock Kitty is starting to get like cat anxiety, I think because he knows there are other cats in the house, but he hasn't interacted with them yet. So sometimes he'll just pace in my room and then he'll go look at the other, like the other door and then come back in my room and like pace. And I'm like, are you okay? Kitty, are you okay? So I've been trying to, I know that sometimes uh, cats can get like weird abandonment anxiety, especially if they came from a shelter. So I don't know what, and I know that it's like far too complex for a cat to be like, what if, she's replacing me with another cat that's hidden in that room. Like, I know that that's way too complex of a thought, but um, I have been, like, trying to, like, cuddle him more and be like, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. And, like, the second I pick him up, he starts purring. Like, he doesn't expect me to pick him up at all. I don't know. It's just, he's been very weird. So I'm like, oh, kitty anxiety. No, 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 no. I love you. <sighs> he's just so cute. It's not his fault. He's just adorable. <laughs> um, but anywho... I'm gonna go and edit my news video together and then build more IKEA stuff and then get ramen and it's gonna be great. But I hope that you guys had an awesome day and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Okay, bye bye.